well, not just one, but I can say a few. First of all, I believe that this book is going to change the world. This book? Yes, Love Through Life. Okay. So, yeah. I believe that this book is going to make spirituality more visible in the world. Yeah. First of all. Yeah. Second of all, uh, I would like to support women who can't show their emotions and men as well, but especially for women because we are stressed. Okay, let me, let, me go, let me go through something with you, yeah? yeah? Let's go to this chapter, what is love? I want to I wanna see what you say about this, yeah? Okay, this, okay. Is, this is a short one. Okay, what is love? You don't answer the question here though. You say, so what is love? I can't yeah. say love. What, what do you mean? It's more of a poetic thing, right? That's the poem, yeah. Okay. Oh, so it's I a poem? I can't say I love you, baby. Love yeah. is not enough. Okay. What is love? Okay, let me ask you, what is love, though? Do you have an answer to that question? Well, love changes for everyone else, but yeah. what I can say is the most important thing, paying attention, being aware of the person or whatever you think you love. Um, love doesn't have to be romantic, you should love everything, you know, we should love plants, this tree, we should love even the flower, everything, you know, and it's the biggest power in the universe and we should feel it. Let me tell you something here. Yeah? Yes. I was thinking myself, yeah. what's the most powerful emotion? Yeah. Okay. And I thought maybe it's anger. <laughs> then I thought, okay, but if I'm angry, so for example, if this guy comes over there and he yeah. barges me, yeah. I get angry and he brings out a knife, yeah. I'm going to get scared. So the fear will override the anger. Yeah. But hold on now, because if I'm scared, like for example, I've got kids. I don't know if you've got kids. No. So yet. for example, <laughs> not yet, maybe in the future. That's a very powerful kind of love as well, yeah? When you have yeah. kids. Yeah. So when you have kids, say for example, you're very scared, but your kids are in danger. Yeah. Your love will override the fear. Yeah. So it seems like love is the most powerful emotion because it overrides fear and it overrides anger. Yes. Would you agree with that? Yes, love is the most powerful emotion and the most important thing is self-love. When you love yourself, you love everything. But let me tell you, you, can I tell you what is more powerful than self-love? Because if you don't love yourself, yeah. how can you give love No, you're right. I think you need to love yourself. Yes. You need, to dis you need to discover yourself. You need to discover yourself. Then you can love yourself. You yeah. can understand yourself. Do you know, like, let me tell you something. I'm a religious man, yeah? Yeah. So for me, there's a higher love than that. Yes, that's true. So for me, the love that is the love that you have for God is yes, higher. That's true. Cre but, I, I prefer to say creator because yeah, God, creator. God has more like Fine. male has got others. Fine. Yes. No problem. Yeah. So let's say, <laughs> let's say the creator, because yeah, we don't believe that uh, God is a male. Yeah, in, and for, yeah, you believe in Muslim, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Allah doesn't have a gender in Arabic term, but you know, when you say English, God, God is, yeah. I don't like to use the no, you're right. perspective. That's no, fine. fine. You can say the creator, yeah. sake of argument, yeah? Because yeah. we don't believe that God is a man or a woman or a child or, a, yeah, you know, whatever. All total, all, all everything. God is ungendered. Yes. It's not gendered. Yes. You know? So, if you have love for the creator, because let me tell you, the, let's be honest, yeah? yeah, love is all very well and good, yeah? Yeah. But it's also very painful. I think you've got some chapters on that, right? Yes, that's true. So you've got some chapters on like how pain, look, where is it? I don't know where you put it. Yeah, so this, this book has uh, two chapters. One is sky, one is earth. So yeah, yeah. Sky is more like, you know, bubbly. Uh, it, this book is about actually awareness, you know? Yeah. And when she, me, yeah. Um, aware of many things comes to earth. That's the actually train journey about love. But um, on the continuous series, I will talk about more self love as well. You can see about self love on my um, songs too. And uh, what you saying about the, the love for creator? Yeah, go on. All part of the creator, isn't it? Well, the so, cre we create are created all of us. When you love yourself. You love the creator, so exactly. self-love is so important. That, do, 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 you know why that's, do you know why that's important for me? Yeah. Let me tell you. Because let's say, you, you mentioned romantic love, you mentioned platonic love, you mentioned different kinds of love, yeah? yeah? But let's be honest for a second, yeah? yeah? You can never trust another human being, fully. You can only trust yourself. You can only trust yourself, but you can, sometimes you can't even trust yourself. Yeah. I would say, honestly, I, there's many things I can't trust myself with. I'll be honest with you. 
Well, you need to work on you more then. <laughs> Maybe, no, but listen to it. Uh, look, can I ask you a question, yeah? Yeah. If, for me, this is what I think of it, yeah? Yeah. If, if you love the creator very, yeah. very much, you love, the, you love the creator, yeah. and you worship the creator, That's it, yeah. then you become self-sufficient. Yeah. You become not in need yes, of the people. Else. Yeah. yeah. Now that's that makes you powerful. That's true. Because the creator won't let you down. Everyone no, else never, will let you down. Never, never. You might have like romantic relationship something. One year is going alright, two years going alright, but the third year, the heartbreak happens. Do you see? Yeah, you always have the connection. But if you have a connection with God, the yeah. Almighty, yeah, then even if that person leaves your life or something like that. You're yeah. independent yeah. from the creation. Yeah. You've given me a book, let me give you one as well, yeah? One yeah. second, come. <laughs> oh, is that okay, fine, take it. <laughs> let me give you one, let me give you a book. One second, yeah? No, I'll give you one. This is our holy book. I read Quran before. I don't want to rest your book. No, no, take it, take it. No, no, really, I read it before. Read it again. Keep it with you. Listen, put it in your house. It's okay. fine. Yeah, I'll put it in your. Okay. Here. Put it in your house. Read the Quran, and you'll realize that okay, if you follow the commands of God, yeah, the ways of God, then you become very powerful. Yeah, do you want to listen how I believe? I believe every religion, science, and everything. And every prophet and every good person really wants to do something else. That's the truth. And I don't like to be distinguished by any religion. My book is spiritual as well. And why not? Well, all, all every prophet come and want to do something. That's, yeah. that's the truth. And what did all the prophets come and ask us to do? All of them. They all talk about one. Some one God. Yes, one one creator. Scientists, they talk about the same thing. Universe okay. is one. So everyone but is no, but the same thing. Everyone, so all the prophets are coming way. and saying that what God is one. Yes. What's the relationship we should have with God then? You know, the relationship is you because you're part of the creator. When you have the perfect relationship. But what is the relationship? With yourself, but what is it? What do we do? No, but it's like what you said, it's about the love relationship, yeah? yeah but if you love, love, if you, yeah, self-love, fair enough, but I'm saying that if you truly love the Creator, if the Creator is telling you how to live your life, do this, don't do this, it's better for you, who knows more, you or the Creator? Say again. Who knows more about you, you or the Creator of you? Okay, that's a good question, sir. The universe is such in a harmony, isn't it? Yeah. And everyone has a unique role, isn't it? Everyone is created in a unique way, unique purpose, authentic self, isn't it? So, I don't know about that. I think we all fundamentally have one purpose. No, everyone has different life purposes. But let me let me explain. Like, this is your yeah. purpose, this is my purpose. What's the purpose? The, the shopkeeper is there, he's, he's, this is his purpose. No, but I'm talking about that. Why are we here? Why are we on this planet? Why are we on this planet? Who, how do you know that? If you look for the answers, you can find them. But I'm saying to you, <laughs> think about it, yeah? You believe the Creator is all-knowing? Yeah. All-powerful? Yeah. He has will? Or not, not he? Not he. Okay, <laughs> but you understand what I mean? Yeah. The, cre the Creator has will? Yeah. Okay, so the Creator has will, it's got power, the Creator's got power, the Creator's got uh, all of these attributes. Yeah. What's the relationship? What do you think we should have with the Creator? Okay, first of all, you need to listen to Divine and yourself. As I told you, you are the gate of the Creator because your soul is alive and life is coming from other side, okay? So when you reach your life, you're gonna reach automatically to the other side, the Divine side. So, if you're looking for a relationship with the Creator, make, make sure your relationship with yourself is perfect. You understand yeah. yourself, you understand your life purpose. But Ashilia, Ashilia, Achelia, Mohammed. Mohammed. Good to be. Look, Achelia, here's what I'm trying to say to you. If you know for a fact, you know for a fact the Creator created you, yeah? Number one. Creator exists. 
Yeah? Okay. You should love the creator. Okay, now imagine the creator is talking to you now. Yeah. If the creator is talking to you, yeah. he wants to tell you how to live your life. Yeah. He wants to tell you what your purpose is. Yeah, the creator should you listen to the creator or should you not listen to the creator? Okay. So who knows more about you and your purpose? You and me or the creator? Well, they know better, isn't it? Huh? They know better. Yeah. Okay. So if the creator knows better, Maybe how do we know? How do we know what the creator wants us to do? Okay, how do we know what the creator wants us to do? Uh, how do we know? Okay. So you need to learn really uh, reading the signs because they said signs. What star signs? What? Well, signs are everywhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Everything signs. Everything. Okay. If you know how to read yeah. it, okay. everything okay. signs. Okay. And you need to learn to listen. Okay. Listen to your intuition because yeah. your intuition is coming from other side. Yes. I agree with you. I think the signs yeah. are everywhere. Yeah. Maybe me coming to you now is a sign. Do you, do you yeah. accept? Everything has a purpose. Do you think the fact that I've come here and give you the book is that a sign maybe? Is that something that you should listen to, maybe? I don't agree really, but I don't want to break your heart, okay? But maybe, <laughs> maybe something I need to go through on the run again. No, nah, don't, don't break my heart. <laughs> 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 that Quran has good messages, yeah. what I believe, and every, every book, every book has a message really. Yeah. Every prophet came to change something and in a different way. The main thing is to be sincere, yeah? yeah? If you want to find the truth, yeah. yeah? It's not about my desires or your desires, my emotions or your emotions or what I want or what you want. Yeah. This, it's a greater purpose, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a greater purpose out there. So I'm saying is that if you're sincere and you want to find out what God wants, then you should start looking at the religious books. I'm not just saying the Quran, you can look at the Bible, the Quran, the Hindu book, everything you like. But the question that you should be asking yourself is, Read all of them. Read all of them. Read all of them if you want to read the spiritual books, if you want to read search science, you know. Read everything. But you know, but proof of the creator. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can search. You can search however you want. But Achilia, what I'm, Achilia, what I'm saying to you is, when you're reading these books now, you're reading the Quran, you're reading the Bible, you're reading the Bhagavad Gita, you're reading the Guru Granth Sahib. You read uh, uh, Stephen Hawking's book, whatever you want, yeah? When you're reading them, you should be asking one question, one question only. Which one is the guidance? Which one is the true guidance of how I should live my life? I believe that your true guidance is after you made your search, your true guidance is you, as you are part of the Creator. I understand, but we've both agreed, we both yeah. agreed that if the Creator is communicating with you, yeah. if the Creator is communicating with me, yeah. What he says do and don't do, that's the true guidance. Yes. So we have to choose from the things that claim to be yes. yeah, the guidance, which one is the true guidance. Yes. That's what we have to choose. Think about it. Look, you don't have to sacrifice your beliefs. Your beliefs are very good the, the, about love and all that stuff. But I'm saying, I'll be, can I be honest with you? I think if you leave yourself to try and figure things out, like meta issues like that out, you'll get a little bit lost. It's like if I tell you, for example, let's go to a forest together, yeah? We go to a jungle or a forest. And for me to get from one side to another, you need a map. That's true. Okay. Now, me and you, we don't have that map. We need to get that map from someone who's seen the entire forest and he tells us how to traverse from one side of it to another. But the thing is about life, there is no map really. You make the map. Who you have, but you how do you know there's no map? Okay. You how do you know? You come to world, you come to the world, okay? And you have a purpose. Yeah. Okay, that's why you came, yeah? And to go to that purpose, there is no one way. It's but how do you know? It doesn't have to be like this. You can go like this. Okay, fine, but this... Sure, sure. You, might, sure. you might not go there. No, I get you. Longer. But the, the objective is to get from one side of the forest to another. Because you have real power. You don't have map. You, you're, not, you're not something like someone managing you. From but will, willpower you is... Like but you Chila. Have, you have a real power. Yeah. So yeah. your map is you. But you willpower, willpower only makes uh, willpower only makes sense when you have an objective. Yeah. Yeah. If you have no objective, you can't have willpower. 
Like for example, if I say to you, look, you have to climb Mount Everest. Then, okay, you know where the, where the peak of that, where the summit of that mountain is. Willpower comes into play. But if you're telling me I don't even know where I'm going, okay, and you have to discover it for yourself, but we have no direction, then willpower is not something we makes sense even. We don't even know where we're going. So what I'm trying to say to you is that the thing about the religious books, yeah, is that they're all attempts to tell us how to get from one side of the forest to the other. And what I'm saying to you is that you're either going to get to the one side or you're going to get lost. There's no other options. Either you're going to get lost or you're going to find guidance. I, I, I believe that we don't need such guidance. Uh, we need to search ourselves fully and we need to do some sort of spiritual practices and we need to find our own way. I know you believe that, but what I'm saying to you, like for example, yeah, where are you from originally? What country? Okay. Really, yeah? yeah. Nasilson. Yeah, <laughs> so, for example, the pilot, when you were coming from, I don't know, Istanbul or whatever, to the London, he had to put numbers on his plane, flight planning. He needed guidance. Would you go into a plane with a pilot that didn't have the numbers to get to London? Now this is a different subject, this is a, you're talking about physical reality to go from A to B yeah. and he has to, has to choose the shortest distance. Okay. Yeah. But life is not about shortest distance. Is, there, is, there a purpose, is there a purpose of life? Okay, we all have a purpose in there. When yeah. we reach that purpose, there is no one way. And there is no even way, you open up the way. I get what you're saying. But how do you know what you're saying is true? How do you know what you're saying is true? Because I can listen. <laughs> listen, entertain what I'm saying to you. Entertain it. You don't have to make, look because if if you're open, you can't close doors. If you're open, if you're open, you're going here, you're here, you're open, yeah? Yeah, I'm open. Oh, you're open. Yeah, I'm talking myself. Okay, so so one of the things you have to be open. Listen, if you're so open, you can't close the door of the religious books. Open that door. I am open. I read, I read, I read many religious books. Read it again. I read, I read many books openly. But it's not about reading it. It's about reading it with the right intention. And the intention is, is this my map? Yeah, my intentions are right already. <laughs> All right. Well, you've got the book now, Achila. Yeah. Take care, yeah? Take care yourself. See you later. Thank you. You too. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Thank you. I mean, what can I say? I mean, it was a nice conversation. It's, it's different to the kinds of conversations you're used to me seeing uh, doing, for example, Speaker's Corner, it's more of an introductory conversation to the idea of religion. So you've got to gauge where the person's at. If they're not even at the point where they're trying to look for the right religion, you have to motivate them to do that. And so we were in the, the preamble phase, you could say, to arousing an interest in the spiritual, for example, discourses. I think she'll think about it. And sometimes it's not always, when you have a conversation with someone for Dawah, you should be asking the question, what's feasible right now? If, if the person's very far away from where you want them to be, then at least just warm them up a little bit. Get them to think about it. Plant a seed. It doesn't have to be complete direct all the time. So that's what I would say.